Hey there, and welcome to tutorial number two of the Easy jQuery series, part of the EasyProgramming.net. Uh, in the last tutorial, I got some feedback that the information on the screen was a little too small because of my resolution. I do apologize for that, and in this tutorial, I zoomed in a little bit more and uh, expanded the view a little bit here in JS Fiddle. Thanks, Pascu, for the feedback. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I really appreciate the feedback. So let's move on to this tutorial. In the Easy JavaScript series, we saw how easy it is to read from and write to HTML elements jQuery makes it a little bit easier by implementing its own methods. In JavaScript, we had inner, H inner text. Uh, in jQuery, there's a built-in method called uh, text, which allows you to get as well as set text in, in your selected HTML element. There's also HTML method, which allows you to get and set HTML elements. And, it's, and it typically overrides the HTML that's uh, inside the selector jQuery also has a couple more useful methods that uh, you won't easily find in JavaScript. You can always append and prepend using the, the plus equal to selector. Uh, but in jQuery, it gives you its own method called the append, uh, which adds to HTML after the selector, prepend, which adds before the selector, append to, which is special because it allows you to add an HTML element inside the selector as the very last element, and prepend to, which adds a piece of HTML at the very as the very first element in your selector. And of course, it has the remove, which allows you to remove the HTML element completely. So let's do some practice. In my HTML code here, in my practice area, I set up a couple of divs uh, with ID text0, text1, text2, and, on or and an ordered list called shopping list, and we'll do stuff to it. Before we continue, I just want to make sure that you have jQuery selected as the library in your JS Fiddle. Uh, it can be the latest one right now, uh, the time of this recording is 3.2.1. So let's do something first and read some text from our uh, practice area. We'll read text zero and I'll put it into the JavaScript console. So let's select the item first. So uh, dollar sign quotes, uh, open parentheses quotes, uh, ID is text zero dot text. So this is the method that will extract the text inside uh, this div ID here. But we're not doing anything with this, so, but let's, uh, just log it to the console, console.log, parentheses around all of this. Right click anywhere, click on inspect or control shift I, whatever is easy for you. Go to the console, uh, let's run it, and there you go, this is some text. Uh, if I do, you know, this is some text from the first div, just to show you. There you go, this is some text from the first div. So we're reading the element, reading the text inside the text zero div ID just by using text open and close parentheses. When no parameters are set inside the text or HTML methods, assumes that it's a getter, uh, meaning it's getting information, it's just reading information. When you have parameters inside the inside the parentheses as a uh, sending an argument into the method, it will act as if you want to use it as a setter or you know posting something into uh, the the text. And that's exactly what we're gonna do next, and uh, by manipulating uh, text one, uh, we're not gonna use the the console anymore uh, for this tutorial uh, so I'm just gonna close it up but I'll still leave it here uh, go a couple di lines down and then let's do something to text one so we'll do select it text one dot actually let's do something to text zero and 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 change it up a little bit so uh, as I said before uh, if there is a uh, if you're sending an argument into the method, it'll actually turn into a setter instead of a getter. So we'll do text. Let's do now I am different text. Now I'm a different text. Let's do this. There's stuff wrong with it on purpose. So um, if you're yelling at me now. I'm doing this on purpose. Uh, the reason is because I'm using single quotes here and single quotes here as for the uh, uh, the apostrophe. And we need to escape it. So in, in JavaScript, as with most programming languages, you just use the uh, the backslash. So when I do this, uh, as you can see, it turned into this taking the outer quotes as the, uh, the encasing quotes. And this one turns into an apostrophe because of the uh, uh, escape value here, the backslash. So now if I do run, Let's go to the less practice area. If I do run, 
it'll say now I'm different text. If you're wondering why it didn't turn it into bold when I put in the strong text, uh, the strong HTML tags, and that's because uh, text works like inner inner text in JavaScript. It does not affect any kind of HTML. So let's do the same thing, but change something in text one. So let's actually copy this here. I'm going to change this to text one and I'm gonna change the text to HTML. So uh, instead of reading the HTML, since there's a, an argument being passed in the HTML method, uh, it'll actually set, uh, it'll actually override what's in this div here with what I have now. So if I run now and look here, it says now I'm a different text, strong, uh, inside strong in, in the text field. And on line five where I did HTML, it says now I'm a different text and it's in bold because it's actually using the strong HTML code. Now let's do a little bit wor little work with uh, prepend and append and do this. We're going to work with, let's do text two. So we'll do text two. Let's prepend something to it. And we'll say this text comes before, right? So if I run it now, come down here and it says this text comes before. So it keeps the, uh, the text in the HTML within uh, the text to here, uh, but it uh, adds something before it. Let's do the same thing, but append it, which will add something later on. We'll do this. This text comes after. Run it. There we go. This text comes before, and this text comes after. Uh, this is some text, and this text comes after. Uh, so we're gonna need this. Just run it one more time, just to make it a little bit easier. There we go. So append and prepend is is fairly cool. For the most part, uh, aside from um, text, HTML, append and prepend, you won't really need uh, the rest of them. But feel free to test uh, out append two and prepend two. They are the uh, uh, they have a similar concept behind them. I just need a little bit more structure in your code than what I have right now. Uh, so I'm going to skip those two for now. But if you have any questions, if you actually want to see them, let me know. I can cover them in a future tutorial. Uh, let's cover remove and actually get rid of something. So let's actually get rid of something from the shopping list. So we'll do shopping list dot uh, remove. So now if we do this, it'll actually remove everything in the shopping list, but I want to select just one thing and remove it. So as I mentioned uh, in the last couple of tutorials that the selector in jQuery follows the same syntax as CSS selectors. So you can actually apply everything you do in CSS here. So we can target just one list item as you would in CSS. So we'll do list item, we'll do nth child, and we'll do the, the second one um, and remove that. So if I run this now, you'll see that milk has disappeared, even though it's here. So it gets added and then it gets removed. Uh, the remove, remove method is pretty simple. Uh, it's not a getter, it just sets, it doesn't take any parameters. You just remove something, you, you just select something and then you choose to remove it. That's all I have for the reading and writing two HTML elements. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching this easy jQuery tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below or on easyprogramming.net. I'm always open to feedback, so please let me know if I can improve anything. If you don't like this video, feel free to give this a thumbs down, but I would really appreciate feedback to go along with that. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one.